and then we're going to slide the top of the foot behind us. Sometimes what we've done in different videos is reached the leg out with the toes tucked. For this variation, you're going to try to keep your shoulders level. Try not to let the shoulder blades collapse if you can. And then you're going to slide, gently press the top of the foot down, extend it out. Keep pressing the foot down as you slide the knee in through. Slide the leg back. We're doing our right leg first and then slide forward. Good. Do this a few times, keeping that gentle pressure with the foot, reaching and extending. But the key with this movement is to not let yourself sway to one side. So if you're reaching that right leg out, you're probably going to notice that the left side wants to take more weight. Try to let it not do that. And then one more time, bring that leg out, reach, 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 and then bring your knee back to neutral. And if you need to, remember, you can, if your wrist at any point don't like this, you can take your two blocks and do this with the forearms like so. You can get the same benefits without the extra pressure of the wrist. So there's that option. And let's go to the other side. Shoulders steady, pelvis steady, top of the foot gently presses down as you reach, bring the knee in toward your chest and then reach. But there's a caveat here. As that knee comes in towards your chest, you're trying not to tuck the tailbone. You're trying to keep your pelvis steady and you'll notice then that your knee won't go that far forward. And that's just fine. Good. Again, notice if you're drifting to the right a bit. Stay in the middle as best you can. And then one more time, extend, and then slide in. Good. Take a moment. If you need to, at any point, if your shoulders and your wrists are just needing a break, take that break. Or go back to the forearm position that I showed on the blocks. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do, and I'm just going to flip around to this, this side so I have room for my leg to move. Now what we're going to do here is keep your pelvis, ribs, hand, hand, shoulder, everything in your torso steady and strong. And without drifting to the left too much, you're going to extend and then now tuck the toes underneath with your right leg back. And you're going to lightly slide the legs in a half circle out toward the side and then lightly slide the legs, leg back. Now when you bring your leg out to the side, the goal is not to try to bring it all the way out to the side. To do that, I'd have to really tweak my hips and pelvis. So as always here, the goal is to not really move your pelvis. The goal is to actually let the pelvis be as still as possible, and it's just your leg sliding. So I would, I would even say it's not quite a half circle even. I'd say looking at my leg, a little mini quarter circle. Good. Two more times. And then release. Take a little moment. If you need to do a wiggle, if you need to do a shake, again, at any point, shake out those wrists. We're, this is a, a wrist working class just by virtue of holding ourselves up like this. So take care of your body. And then now stretch that left leg out. Try to keep everything steady. Try not to lean to really far to the right as the left toes slide out. And then slide in. Slide out. Slide in. Try not to let your pelvis do the work of taking the leg out. Your pelvis doesn't twist. It doesn't really move too much. It's all in your leg. Good. Noticing the lighter that you touch the toes to the floor, the more work you've got to do. So check in, were you really heavily pushing that foot down? And if so, could you lightly slide the legs? Let's do one more. And then come back to center. Now let's give a little bit more of a, a break for those wrists. So let's come into the forearm stretch while we're here. Hands shoulder width apart, elbows shoulder width apart, and you're going to try to bring your back of your hands down, back of the wrists, back of the fingernails, and even if you can get your thumbs on the floor, perfect. 
If not, that's perfect as well. Good. Now big breaths as always, pressing that back of your hand, especially the wrists. I know the fingers really like to come off the floor for some of us, so do your best to try to keep all parts of your hand down. One more big deep breath in, and then out, and then release and come up.